Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about line plots. Some people call them dot plots, but we're going to call them line plots today. And uh, we're going to learn how to create them and interpret them. So let's take a look at a few different line plots. Now, what we have here is we have a table on the left. And the best thing to do always when you're looking at graphs is to uh, understand what's going on. And so we look at the title and it says students scores on the AP test. And then we have the score row here, or score column. And so it looks like that one, two, three, four, and five are the actual scores you can get on the AP test. And then over to the right, it shows how many people uh, in that class got the different scores. For instance, one person got a score of one. Four people got a score of two, and so on. So, um, what we have over here, we have the um, the title of our line plot. Down here, we have our labeling of the uh, number line scores on the AP test, and so that's the uh, first column, or the left column. And then finally, we have our number line, which contains all of the uh, scores. Okay, whether it has um, a number in the right hand side or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this line plot. And so we look at our first row and the amount of people that scored a one on the test was one, right? So we're going to put one X above the score of one. Then we have a score of two. Four people got that. And so we're going to put four X's in a row like that. And then we have a score of three and two people got that. Then we have a score of four, we have seven, and then a score of five, there were five who did that. And so you might wonder why it's called a line plot. Well, the X's form lines. And when you're visually looking at this data, you can see which categories had the most, which had the least, uh, by that line of X's. Okay, here's another one. This one is uh, about TikTok videos made in one day. And it looks like uh, maybe a teacher um, asked her kids what they got on them. And so it looks like the number of videos done in one day, they went from zero videos done all the way up to six videos done in one day and so what we do is we look at our first row here how many kids did zero videos there were four how many did one video three how many did two videos seven how many did three five how many did four videos two how many did five zero so we don't put anything there and how many did six? There was one. Okay. So you can see that doing a lot of videos is, is not easy. So you can see like the most um, number of videos done was two and three was next. All right. Okay. Here is a new type of line plot. Well, really it's a, a new type of table here. And if you look at the, uh, the side there, um, the number of players, well, let's look at the, the uh, title. It says number of times a player could head a soccer ball. I'm sure you know what heading a soccer ball means. So how many times in a row could you do it before it falls on the ground? So we have um, one, two, three, four, and five times that they could get it. And then if you notice in the number of players, it's in tally form. Now, if you're not familiar with tally, what it is, it's a, uh, um, easy way to mark numerous things that happen that you're trying to keep track of. So for instance, uh, at the right underneath the table, I'm going to show you. So we use a line to mark one person or one player, and then another line for the second player, the third player, fourth player. Then on the fifth player, the line, we cross the line through the four, making it a five. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, and then a 
another 5, which makes 10. And we do that because if you tally, and there's lots and lots in a particular group, um, it's easier to count fives and then add the little change on the end. Okay, so we're going to look at the first row and, and how many kids had it at one time. There were three, and so we put three X's there. How many kids could do it two times? There was We have a five and then three, so that makes eight. Eight kids. And then how many did it three times? There were four, so we put four X's. How many could do it four? Well, five and five is 10, so we put 10 X's. And then how many could do it five times only two? So we put that on, on, of, above the five, okay? Now here's some tips uh, when creating a line plot, okay? Now you, you'll be given some sort of information like a, a table like this. And what you want to do is you want to first understand what's going on here. And you're going to um, make a title for your line plot, okay? So this one, we are using the AP test score one again. So results of the AP test. Then we're going to look at the left side, the score. And so it says 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so we are going to um, make a number line from one, two, with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on them. And then we're going to label that scores on the AP test, okay? Then we go about uh, using the number of people and putting the X's in, and we've done practice with that, so you know how to do that, okay? All right. Now, are you able to interpret a line plot? Now, if you were given this scenario right here, it has a table and a line plot, and well, you could just look at the table here, but uh, suppose you had a question that said, how many kids made more than three videos in one day? So let's think about that. More than three would be, well, above three. So we have four, five, and six. And so you add those up, two plus six plus one, and that is nine kids. Okay? Now... Most of the time, you're not going to be given a table, and so you're just going to have to interpret the actual line plot. And so the questions can get kind of tricky, so you have to read them very carefully, make sure you add the right things. And so this question says, how many kids made two or less videos? So that would be two, one, or zero. And so we have four, three, and seven, and that makes 14 kids. Okay. How many total kids are there? Well, you would add up all of the X's. And I added them up, and we got 28 kids in all, okay? You might get a question like, which number of videos was done the least? And so the six videos was done uh, the least on this particular line plot. And so uh, we would have six videos would be the one that was done the least. And then how many kids made two videos? So this is just asking how many in a particular um, column. So we add them up. Now be careful counting. Make sure you count the right amount because sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you. And so there were seven kids in the two video column. All right, well, that was line plots. I hope you uh, learned a bit about it and learned how to create them, learned how to fill them in, and then ultimately learn how to interpret it because that's what the goal of line plots are. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.